Well, this here is the Ford Endeavor, and if this car was a Bollywood celebrity, then this would definitely be Amitabh Bachchan. And why is that? Well, simply because just like Amitabh Bachchan has a very forceful voice and has a very strong personality and is very respectable all across uh, the globe. Even this car, when you take it out on the road, people will just move out of the way, showing you respect. And of course, uh, when you overtake other cars, they'll salute you because this has a very towering personality over all the other cars. But uh, the other reason, of course, is रिश्ते में तो होते हैं हम तुम्हारे बाप और नाम है हमारा Ford Endeavor. Let's jump inside the car, tell you about it, and I'll explain why this is the best large-size SUV. in the market at the moment well as soon as you step inside the endeavor you will come to think of it as if you're driving on the first floor and everybody else is uh, on the ground floor it is a very high car and you can also have a chat with those ddc bus drivers and tell them if they're not driving properly by sab zara aram se actually it's better not to tell them because you know then they'll get after you and try and assail you but i'm just trying to joke at the moment you also feel nice when you enter the cabin because you get this big uh, grab rail over here so as soon as you enter it uh, gives you that macho kind of feeling that muscular kind of feeling and this is a big suv so it should give you that kind of feeling in terms of the equipment It's a very well kitted car. You get traction control. You get low range for the 4x4 system. You also get uh, parking assistance because the steering wheel helps you uh, park in a parallel parking position by moving around itself. It uses the radars outside as well as sensors, so that's a unique touch as well. And you get multiple airbags as well as automatic headlamps. As standard, the big feature, the big talking point is this: the Ford Sync 3 enabled uh, system on this car. The infotainment system is by far. the best system that i have used on any car the ford uh, sync 3 system really is easy to use it's intuitive the fonts the menus the overall uh, usage is very good and i think as i just said it's the best system across any car the ford uh, sync 3 system which is on any ford car really is nice to use the stereo also and the speakers also are of a good quality and of course uh, the biggest talking point on any suv is the sunroof and this one gets a huge one because a lot of uh, owners don't uh, go in for a car just because it doesn't have a sunroof so this one has that big sunroof and essentially what i'm trying to say is that this is a great car for the ambience that it has to offer for the quality it has to offer and also the features in terms of comfort these seats are huge in terms of comfort they offer you very good cushioning very good support and i think the quality and the ambience and the comfort is ahead of its main rival which rival am i talking about you all know that you can write it in the comment section below it's also good in terms of utility before i forget you get a huge tray where you can keep your cell phone your wallet or the key to the gates below your home and the box over here is also huge you can keep a lot of stuff in it at the moment i have kept something which uh, reminds me of my childhood and the door bins are large enough for those big molly bottles i have a score of a 10 i'll give this one a strong score of 9 now let's see if the back seat is as impressive as the ones in the front well so here in the back seat of the endeavor and Before starting, let me just remind you that my height for reference is 5'10". In case you've forgotten, and I always adjust the front seat for my height and my driving position. And for someone who's about 5'10 or even 5'11, there's ample knee room over here. Headroom is also more than sufficient, and this is a very wide car, so three occupants in the back should not be an issue in the least. There's a bit of a hump over here, but because it's not very tall, there's a lot of place around it where whoever's sitting here will stretch his feet. The AC vents are over here and not here, so. you cool your face not your knees that's a good thing and the windows also go all the way down so in case you're going to shimla or masuri or some place nice uh, in the hills where the weather is good you can always do this and enjoy the cool breeze so that's something which is really nice about the car you also get uh, grab handles at the back to get in and out of the car and knee and hip angle also is at a nice 90 degrees the backrest angle can be moved around let me see where the handle is yes uh, you can move it around easily in case you have someone tall at the back or you can go all the way back and relax like this you can also slide the seats forward and even then there's plenty of place here so what i'm essentially trying to say is that the second row seats on the endeavor are a very good place to be in i'll give it a strong score of 9 out of 10 and if you see me sweating that's because you know testing uh, seven seater cars is always a little tiring because uh, you get those extra seats to review it's a bit of a joke let's jump in the back and see how good the back seats are
while same in the last row of the endeavor seats and as you can see knee room is sufficient it's not bad at all and headroom also is pretty good you also get your own ac vents and the uh, bottle holders are also available at the back you also get a window which means that this place will not feel claustrophobic in the least this though is ideal for someone about 57 or 56 or less than that for long journeys for short journeys even someone who's 510 or 511 will be okay in these seats for about an hour and a half or maybe around that kind of time overall i'll give the last of uh, the endeavor a good score of 8 Well, so talking about the boot on the Endeavour, it's a nice boot, it's a very square boot. It's uh, not very deep with all the rows up, but you can still keep at least a couple of big bags over here. And there's no loading seal, which is a good thing. The only thing is that it's a very tall car, so the loading area is uh, very high up from the ground. So whenever you're putting a bag in it, you'll have to use your back into it. And that's a good thing because sometimes when you're doing this, you can also do pile lago to your Sasuma. It's a bit of a joke. But uh, if you want to increase the space on this car, you get a couple of buttons here. You just press this button and press this button and the backrest of the third row goes down and you get a completely flat loading area which is uh, big enough to move all the furniture on your flat. It's a big car. If you are planning to change your apartment from one side to the other, then this car can easily take in at least your small uh, AC and it can also adjust the washing machine in it. Overall, a very impressive boot with uh, the last row of seats down. I would give a strong score of 8 out of 10 and the best part is it's a part tailgate which adds another point so i'll give it 9 out of 10 because you don't have to use your muscles and your arms and you don't have to get tired on this car 9 out of 10 in the boot department Now, uh, talking about the performance of the 3.2, which I am driving at the moment, it is a very powerful engine. It makes about 197 bhp and also makes about 475 nm of torque, which is a very good figure. And as I said, this engine just loves to pull. The torque delivery is excellent. The torque starts coming in from a relatively low RPM, so that makes driving on inclines a very uh, easy and breezy affair. And as I just said, it loves to pull, the performance is more than sufficient, you'll never be found wanting for power even with an entire load of passengers. If you have seven occupants in the car, you're going up an incline, uh, you will not need to switch off the AC or you know push it down a gear. The performance really is that good and it is also very effortless. What also makes this car a very good city car is the fact that you get excellent mirrors on the side which give you a very good view of uh, whatever is behind you. You sit up really tall. So you get a good view of the road ahead. You can see three or four cars ahead of you. So in case you're stuck in traffic, you don't have to look at Google Maps. You can just do this and you'll know how long it'll take. Now, in terms of the suspension travel, it is uh, quite long. So you can take this car over those moon uh, crater-like surfaces and it'll still manage to annihilate them. It is that good. You get chunky tires as well, uh, which really do soak in the bumps. And uh, at faster speeds on the highway, it does feel very stable, very reassuring. And as I just said, it is a very good car to drive. What also makes it good is the cabin is well isolated. The cabin isolation is top class. So there's no wind noise, there's no tire noise, and there's hardly any engine noise. Even when you rev the engine hard, the engine sounds as if it's a very distant murmur at some uh, corner of the road. So there's hardly which troubles you inside the cabin. Overall, I'm very impressed with the car. I'll give it a strong score of 90 out of 100 in the driving department. Overall, I'm sure that you know what I'm going to say about this car and I'm going to say only positive things because this is an exceptional product and I think this is the best SUV at this price point in the large SUV segment. But also, remember if you're in the market for a luxury SUV, a compact luxury SUV, maybe something that the Germans make, then I think you should definitely check out this car as well if you have that kind of budget because this car will give you a full-size SUV feel, it'll give you greater performance and it'll also give you better cabin space, not to mention that uh, feeling about having a macho SUV rather than having a compact SUV which those manufacturers will offer. So what I'm essentially trying to say is that this is a solid, no-nonsense, 
large size SUV and this really is the real deal. I'll give it a strong score of 92 out of 100. It's bye for now and hope to see you soon.